praise the Lord, getting ready to get out of here and go for my evening walk. And I've uh, been praying and begging our Father to give me the strength to speak on the death of a uh, mama, madre, mommy, moms, ma, mother. And if you really want to see a family act a fool, let, let mama die and the family think it's some money uh, left behind. If you really want to see a family act a fool or be a fool or conduct themselves um, contrary, let mama die. And, 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 and every family has a, a child or children who uh, do for mama from the beginning to the end and and every family has a family member, a sibling, a brother, or sister live down the road or out of town who we feel could help mama. This causes a problem because um, God, our father, the father of the believer and the uh, creator of us all, he he chooses. He see he don't call the qualified. Uh -uh. God qualifies those he's called. So. Uh, this journey, this valley is tailor-made for you. Maybe your brothers and sisters don't have the stomach, the mind, the heart, the wherewithal to do for mama. And I know it's causing problems. You're mad. And, and when mama go on to glory, when she transition um, uh, this thing called death, um, there's going to be some problems. Mama. Do for mama, do for daddy. I, 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 I didn't know a family could be busted up the way it, it can and, 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 and will be until my own mother passed. And I was blessed to speak at her funeral as I lay in God's spacecraft. But some, some children going to want the jewelry. Some children going to want the car, the house. The, uh, some children going to want the wardrobe. Some children going to want heirlooms. But I'd rather have my mama didn't have a ring or a watch. Uh, and when my dad died, he had an old pocket watch and they gave it to me. And we was, me and my first cousins, we were sitting by the graveside and I flipped it in the grave. And my cousin said, you want me to get down there and get it? I said, no. He said, cuz, that's a beautiful pocket watch. And I did it like this. I said, this is my pocket watch. I look just like uh, your uncle or uh, my dad as I leave this one. But mama. So forgive the family members or the brothers and sisters that wasn't there. This was your lot in life. You did the best you could with what you well, you did the best you could with what you had, where you were at. As I leave this one, but yes, you want to see a family fight? Let mama die. You th and you think some money left behind? Let mama die. You think the house is uh, uh is worth some money? Let mama die and there's some jewelry or or some property involved. As I leave this alone. I have to swallow hard because my own family been busted up because of siblings fighting over jewelry, siblings fighting over insurance policy, siblings fighting over rings, siblings fighting over pocketbooks. I'd rather have my, our mama. But the, 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 the estrangement, the, the, the aspera, the, uh, uh, the separation that takes place when mama dies. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, you see, sometimes we must overstand that they steal your brothers and sisters. And in the same breath, you may not ever talk again, but pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. And, and my mother, you say, don't apologize and nobody ain't done nothing wrong. Don't uh, 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 say you're sorry to solicit or elicit an apology from someone you haven't done wrong. Mama. But if God will give our parents, our mom, my deceased mom, our deceased dad, just a glimpse of what's going on after they leave here. They are rolling in their grave. Don't fight over rings. Don't fight over watches. Don't fight over pocket watches. Don't fight over property. Yeah, brother could have been there. Yeah, brother seemed to be nasty after the death of mom. Yeah, sister seemed not to care. Yeah, sister need, seemed to be nasty after the death of mom or dad. But you, 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 we give God thanks for the job that we've done. We give God thanks for the task at hand that we have uh, been blessed with to take care of our uh, dying parents or our deceased mom and dad. That's I, I, I was blessed to take care of my dad until he died in my arms with a massive heart attack. Peed on me and died. Bled, snotted nose, uh, 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 mucus, fickle matter, blood everywhere. And I'm trying to uh, do CPR and broke his ribs. <laughs> As I leave this alone. 
So keep going. Try to hold a grudge. Say out loud, Lord, I forgive my sister. Say her name. Lord, I forgive my brother. Lord, I forgive my auntie, my uncle, whoever it is, forgive them. And know that you did the best you could with your mom and your dad while they were here. I know it hurts because trust me, I've been hurting for a few years now. But God, our Father, OMG, one magnificent God, <clears throat> he's got the whole world in his hand. He got the crazy family members, the crazy brothers, the crazy sisters, <laughs> the ones that didn't do anything. The ones that the one that cried the loudest at the funeral <laughs> is the one who didn't do too much at all. Let them cry. Memories, regret, remorse, and a guilty conscience. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Go on, y'all. Try to hold no grudge. God bless you. God keep this my prayer. Mama, Papa, peace in the bosom of God. Peace again.